In episode 28 of my commentary series, I covered the threat level shotgun plus the thin line hand cannon, and I didn't feel that my gameplay really showed how powerful this loadout could be. So this very short video is just going to break down a couple cool clips I got while getting used to this loadout before actually going for the commentary. Because it's a very high APM, means actions per minute, loadout, so talking through what's happening as it's happening is very, very difficult with this loadout. You'll see what I mean almost immediately with this next clip starting now. If this was a live commentary, there would be almost no way to explain my thought process in these moments because these are millisecond decisions right here. So I'm going to slow down the clip and break it down from the start. Immediately the first thing my eyes do is go to the radar. You can see that it's flared up like my arthritis from switching weapons so much. More importantly than enemies surrounding me, you can see the lack of teammates, so I'm on my own. My best chance of survival is not to sit still and be collapsed. I think it's to aggress and be a thorn in their side. So that's exactly what I do. I didn't expect a snipe to be there, so I immediately pull out my sword hill and blink to see third person, so that way when I land behind this rock, I can have more sense of where people are. So in that one second since I started the blink, I got a pretty good read on the situation. Two in front of me. One behind me, I'm about to land behind this rock, so my next battle is the person behind me, not the two in front of me, because they've already missed their shots. Your lead. Well done. So after I got behind the rock, I flicked 180 degrees to check behind me, and noticed that the enemy that should have been shooting me took a longer route to get there. So I blink forward, and I'm prepared to close off the angle to the initial two, so that I can have a very short 1v1. So now that I've identified my gunfight, I need to close out the other two by working this piece of cover, I think they call it the Twinkie, to my right. Note that because this is Iron Banner, I get to two tap guardians who are lower light than me. That was the whole purpose of choosing the thin line hand cannon for that commentary. But if for some reason it was normal Crucible, it would take me three shots to kill him. You can see I was prepared to take the third kill shot, but it ended up killing in two. So now I have Rampage on my hand cannon, and I'm guaranteed to two-tap the next two guardians. So that's exactly what I want to do. Here is a prime millisecond example of target priority. Who do I prioritize? The person aiming a one-shot kill weapon at me, or the other person mid-sprint animation? I elected to shoot the snipe because there's a good chance that I flinched the kill shot off me, and that's exactly what happened. And here we go, another millisecond example. You can see the glint of his fusion rifle charging up. You can see that the sniper took cover. I did 56 damage. So what I have to do is be very evasive now because I know he's about to finish charging that fusion rifle. I still have rampage. I can still two tap him if I aim well enough. So at this point, I'm very confident that I got my two tap. So now I have to think of the remaining player, the snipe. And the best way to be unpredictable is to short hop onto the Twinkie using my mobility, and then finish him off with the Rampage again. Remember that 56 damage I did a second ago? Well, that comes into play now. Looking at his health bar, I know I can go for maybe one head, one body. I'm going to play this whole clip back from the beginning, slow it down just a little bit, and we'll recap over everything I just talked about. From the top, I sprint outside. I notice that a sniper rifle's on me. I shit my pants. I panic. I pull out the sword hilt. Blink. I'm third person. I see two people. Quick millisecond opportunity to take a shot, but this isn't my fight. I'm focused behind me. Let's check behind me. Where is he? Oh, he's taking the longer route. This is a great opportunity to make this a true 1v1. So let's be evasive, serpentine, blink, and slide to cover. Almost to cover. I'm surprised I haven't gotten shot. Let's slide, make this a true 1v1. There he is. Three shots. That's all I need. Work this cover. What's that? A 111? That means I can two-tap him. Oh, now on to the next targets. So let's slide out. Oh fuck, a snipe. Better flinch that. Oh fuck, a fusion rifle. Better two-tap that. Quick, dodge it, dodge, dodge it. Now the snipe, don't forget about it. Short hop, onto the Twinkie. He's not expecting it. 110 in the face, that means like a body shot. There it is, and I'm done. 
Now, I'm not saying I'm the most phenomenal player and that every decision I make in the moment's right, but maybe this is a first for you in seeing what another player's inner monologue is during gunfights that goes beyond just live commentary. As for the loadout combination of the threat level plus the thin line, when it comes together as something where you can just snap, keep making quick decisions on the fly, you get this monster of a clip. Down. You've extended your lead. I'm not surprised. 